How's it guys? So what I've got here is if you come this way, I just have a couple of batteries in series. It's very simple. I've got this cheap China made controller. Uh, I've got an amp meter here where I'm just reading uh, some, some amps as I make notes. I make some of my notes over here. So what I've got, excuse these things, excuse the screw terminals. Um, I'm, I'm reconfiguring them and then I change them. So I just made temporary. I'm going to make that a bit more um, permanent. And then voltage wise, if you can have a look over there, uh, voltage across my batteries at the moment is 63.7. I've been running it for a week like that. I don't charge it. So um, it's really not using much, although I have not, I have not, um, I have not run it continuously for a while. So basically, uh, this is the cheap controller. This is important. This is the original uh, uh, aluminium wiring. The reason I'm saying that I've tested here, and you can see on 64, 63, I've got 294 out of copper, but I got 153 RPM out of uh, out of uh, aluminium. So, but if you look at the amps. There's 0 0.2 on, on a no load and 2.4 on, on a load. And then this one is 0 0.2. Uh, sorry, that's not 2.4, but 0 0.2 on no load. 0 0.8, this one is running on no load. So although the RPM with copper, same winding, original winding, went up with 140, say, um, uh, RPM, the amps went up four times and I'm chasing at the moment I'm chasing as low amps as possible but with enough torque so now I've rewired this one here I'll post a, a diagram I rewired this one and basically I'm now running at 696 we we registered 700 and odd on 2.4 amps um, on 2.4 amps uh, whereas, whereas this one, if you if you start going faster and faster, the, the the amps are going way up. So, and I'm chasing. Remember, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay as low as as yes yeah, as, as possible. So this is the new new winding. Uh, the new winding results is over here, and I'm running on 2.4 amps. Uh, about eight. Uh, we just clocked about 800 RPM, and if I get my way, I would want to say go at 400 max rpm on, on this on this one because then i know i can run it continuously and then see if i can generate power the generator i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna do later you can see here how much aluminium wire i've taken off uh, yeah. you, can, you can see here uh the winding uh which is the original winding but with one millimeter copper wire and that's the one, a one millimeter, so it will take more amps. It's this one, and out of the box, uh, the wiring runs at 294 RPM. So I'm just going to show you how this thing runs. Um, so off we go. I'm going to ramp it up. Ramp it up some more. Ramp it up some more. There we go. I'm short of hands here. So I'm not going to makes a nice sound, run smoothly. Okay. And I'm gonna try and hold this thing. It's a stupid controller. I'm gonna replace it with a little knob. And This one is running already at 500, 500, and I can go faster, so that's 500, The interesting thing is the torque, 
So if I go here, if I try, I've got really, really try. Uh, there's no way I've got blisters on the other end, but there's no way I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this guy. So the only point I want to what I've tried is to use the original winding and the original aluminium stuff to and see if I can have speed and torque. And I think I achieved what I wanted to achieve with with um, a new wiring.